Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 285 70 to 265 65 Replacement tires should be within 3% of the original tires overall diameter. The diameter difference between 285 70 and 265 65 is 6.6%, which exceeds the acceptable range. Thus, the interchange is not recommended without necessary adaptations to prevent issues such as rubbing or clearance problems. Switching from 285 70ths to 265 65ths reduces the diameter by 2.15 inches. This decrease in diameter lowers the vehicle's ground clearance, which can negatively impact off-road driving capabilities and navigating rough terrain. However, it may result in a slightly higher speedometer reading. The width of 285 seventieths is 11.22 inches compared to 10.43 inches for 265 65 The reduction of 0.79 inches in width affects the contact patch, potentially reducing traction and stability, especially in off-road conditions. However, this difference might be negligible for everyday driving. Switching to 265 65 decreases the sidewall height by 1.07 inches. The lower sidewall height may offer less impact absorption, resulting in a less comfortable ride on rough terrains. However, it can enhance handling and stability on paved roads. Due to the change in tire size, the speedometer and odometer will be slightly off. With 265 65 at a speedometer reading of 20 mph, the actual speed will be 18.69 mph, indicating the vehicle is traveling slower than the speedometer reading. Based on our observation, switching from 285 70 to 265 65 has both benefits and shortcomings. The smaller diameter and width can improve fuel efficiency and on-road handling. However, the reduced ground clearance and sidewall height may affect off-road performance and ride comfort on rough terrains. While the smaller tires may suit daily commuters and those driving on paved roads, off-road enthusiasts may prefer the larger 285 70 for better traction and stability on uneven surfaces.